I'm Suzanne Andrews. I'm Cindy Smith. My name is Rafferty Laredo. My name is Brian Mazoyer. I've been an occupational therapist here for 12 years. I've been a therapist for 31 years. I'm an occupational therapist. I've been a therapist for 10 years now. I head up our, our Smart Wheel group here. I was so adamant about getting the Smart Wheel at Tier um, because I think even 10 years ago, we used to give people a wheelchair and, and you give somebody a chair with wheels and we assume that they know what to do with it. We help them set up their chairs better as well as to give them information regarding how their posture is affecting the way that they're pushing and their, their efficiency in their push. It's been a great tool for us to get objective numbers to know whether or not we're uh, successful in reducing some of the forces through their shoulders or it's useful for us to see about efficiency with push and um, just make sure that we're making the right decisions for our patients. Actually, as far as the, the testing goes, uh, I can do the whole test in you know, 15, 20 minutes easily. Realize that it is very simple, very easy to interpret, very easy to set up. How are they pushing? Is this the best equipment for them? Um, is it set up properly? We, we look at things that they can do to make their um, to make their propulsion more efficient. With the smart wheel, we're able to put the wheel on the chair, use it as a tool, um, along with our clinical expertise and experience, and find out what's really going on. We also use it as an educational tool for our patients. He got his new wheelchair and we used it as, as part of the setup for his chair. And I said, can I make a change in your back and then I'll change it back when we're finished. And I showed him what the smart wheel did. We made a couple of changes to the chair and I ran through it again, made a couple of changes to the chair and did the same thing until we kind of fine tuned to, um, to get everything the way we wanted it on the chair. And he decided from there on he was gonna leave it back the way I changed it to. At the end of the, at the, end of the day, the patient was very happy with what we had done with uh, the changes in the chair. Especially with when the smart rule was new, it was very nice to have a users group. It's great to have a user group because I think we all learn from each other and learn different ways to use it and ways to make it more efficient and effective. Uh, a group of people who are committed and dedicated to the smart wheel and how its use can be valuable on frontline clinics. It's great to hear all of the people from other facilities talking about how they use the smart wheel and definitely taking some of the ideas um, home with you. With the clinical protocol that was developed by the smart wheels us users group, um, we look at how they how the wheelchair user propels their wheelchair over various surfaces. The database values have been hugely um, helpful for me to understand where I need to get my patients to be at. I can also pull up other patients, past patients, and I can have them take a look. Okay, here's where you are. This is what we would like you to, to be able to do in, in the future. And this is what we're this is how we're gonna go about getting you to that position. To have a general norm for what I'm shooting for, it gives me a set goal um, to kind of base my treatments around. It's also been really important for me when I'm educating my patients because it gives them a number to strive for as well. One client that we had um, had been, had her wheelchair or had her injury for 19 years, and and she was on her second wheelchair, um, but she was starting to experience low back pain, and so we were able to use the smart wheel um, to assess the way her chair was set up. We made changes. She reported um, you know, a decrease in the back pain. As far as billing for the smart wheel. Can justify the treatment that we have done and that we're billing for. It's certainly a very important tool for third party payers who are looking for very concrete numbers. In an ideal world, I would like to see every patient smart wheel their first time out of bed, um, push, get the baseline data, and then go from that point. The configurations of these fully adjustable chairs um, need to be optimized and maximized and the smart wheel continues to stay on top of whether or not those changes um, are helping. We can see that the changes right uh, you know right on the right on the graph as we went through it. it's like okay look at here's what you did here and then we did it again okay that's better but let's see if we can get it a little bit better. Why are we looking at the way people propel their wheelchairs? There's there's a problem and, and people are coming back 20 and 30 years after their spinal cord injury and they have shoulder problems, so we need to do something about that now.